This is a small sword, a court sword, and this is a rapier. They're two separate weapons. Oftentimes this gets called a rapier, but it is not. Here's a couple of differences. This weapon was in use from the late 1400s all the way into the 1600s, and this weapon was in use from the mid to late 1600s all the way into the 1800s. Primary differences in use, this weapon is a thrusting only weapon. Most of them did not have edges. So, the guards are much smaller because you only have to worry about incoming thrusts. This weapon can actually be parried with the hand. Now, the rapier is a cut and thrust weapon, and you can see with the guard, it's a lot beefier because it has to worry about incoming cuts. You can parry a rapier with the hand, but only if it's a thrust. If it's a cut, well, you're going to have a bad time.